Hi. One of the features that the new Microsoft Flight Simulator lacks is a flight recorder and replay system. Luckily, we actually have a few options for implementing this feature via third-party products. There's some paid options, and I'll be reviewing one of those soon, but I wanted to make a quick overview of this open-source flight replay tool called Flight Recorder. It was developed by this gentleman. I'm not going to try and pronounce that, so I'll just put it on the screen like this. You can get it over at flightsim.to, and I've linked to it in the description. You'll need to create a free account on flightsim.to in order to download it. The version I'm using for this video is 0.8.0.0. The tool is fairly basic and simple to use. Before I get into it, bear in mind that it won't control mixture, nor will it start the aircraft for you as part of the recording. You're best served by this replay tool by starting your recording with your aircraft already fired up and ready to taxi or in mid-flight. Additionally, turning off crashes in the sim is also advised. After you download the zip file, unzip it and you'll be presented with a folder called Flight Recorder. You can put this anywhere on your system that you like. There's no install. It's pretty lightweight at about 163 megabytes. Inside of that folder, you'll find a bunch of files, but the one of interest is called flightrecorder.client.exe. I pinned mine to my taskbar so that I can easily get to it by pressing the Windows key while I'm running the sim like this. If you run it before the sim is up and running, it will run up just fine, but it will state that it cannot connect to sim connect like this. After you fire up your SIM, it will connect automatically and you'll be presented with a fairly simple user interface. At the top, you have Record and Stop Recording. Below this is a slider that allows you to quickly move through your recording forwards and backwards. You must already be playing the recording and then pause it in order to use the slider. Below that is a graph that shows the progression of your flight recording, and below that shows the current flight sample point, and to the right of that it shows the total number of sample points in the current recording. Below this we have four transport control buttons. Replay begins playing your current recording back. Pause and resume, do what you expect. Again, you use pause, and then you can use the slider to skip through the recording. Stop Replay will stop the replay function and rewind the recording back to the start. It will leave the aircraft in whatever state it was at when you clicked on Stop, so if it was in mid-flight, that's where you'll be left off and free to control the aircraft as normal. Below this are the file control buttons, Save, Export, and Load. You can save a recording and load it up later. The export function lets you export a recording to a CSV or comma separated value file. You can load this up into a spreadsheet like this and look at each of your flight recorded sample points. A very nice feature. And finally, show data. That'll give you the current location and status of your current flight. If it looks like the data is going crazy, it's the data that the sim gives the app, so it's not the fault of the recorder app. You have full control over the cameras while the recording is playing, so you can do things like manipulate the drone camera while the aircraft is landing. Let's record a flight to see how it works. I'm clear for takeoff in my trusty Cessna 172 here at Van Nuys Regional Airport in Los Angeles. I'll switch to the external view for this. I've set my flaps and released my brakes, so I'm ready. I hit the Windows key to bring up the flight recorder and I click on record, then click back on the SIM screen and I'll take off here while it's recording. Now that we're up and away, I'll retract my flaps and we'll fly around the pattern for a moment. There we go, I'll stop the recording here. Now I'll click on replay and it resets the aircraft back to the runway where we started and begins to replay the flight for me. I click resume and switch to the drone camera, and as you can see, I can move the drone camera around as I see fit. I want to point out that when you load a flight, it won't automatically select the aircraft that you originally recorded the flight with. So I can load this flight up using, say, a King Air, and it will play back the flight using that aircraft. 
However, be mindful of the fact that some features such as retractable landing gear on this aircraft that were not present on the aircraft I used for the original recording can produce unpredictable results. I'll start a flight about 100 miles away from where I made the recording. When you do this and you start the recording playback, it will of course position your aircraft at the start of the flight that was recorded, but you'll want to pause the playback as soon as it starts so the sim can catch up and load all of the textures that are around your actual starting position. For this next part, I'll do some aerobatics in the pits. I'm out here in the middle of Kansas to minimize the amount of geometry that the sim needs to render so that we get good performance. I'll do a couple of aileron or barrel rolls like so. And a loop like this. Playing back the recording, I get a little bit of stutter in the playback. I've seen other YouTube videos using this tool and they didn't get this issue, so it may just be that my computer is not up to the task, so your mileage may vary. That's pretty much it. Now you can use this to record your landings and retry them or create cinematic videos with the drone camera while the aircraft flies itself. It's a really great tool and certainly the price is right. I highly encourage you to donate to the author to reward them and encourage them to continue making and updating these kinds of tools. They also run a Discord server so you can communicate directly with them. I've linked to their Discord, the download page, and their donation link as well in the description. I highly recommend this tool as it's very effective and while not feature rich like some of the paid options, it still offers a very nice solution. I hope this video helps someone out there and if you like the video please click on like as that really helps and until the next video, take care.